The trial of former Minneapolis officer Derek Chauvin, who is accused of killing George Floyd last year, has been a hot topic since it began on Monday. While Americans have been exposed to a number of police brutality trials, one University of Dayton law professor says there may be some nuances this time around. Really what they're trying to demonstrate is that um, that officer uh, Chauvin didn't didn't violate. Uh, he was trained. That's how, that's he's he's only um, using the, uh, methods that he's been trained in. And then the government's going to take a different approach. They're going to say, no, that's not that's not the proper technique that he used. Hoffmeister says one key point both sides will rely on is if Chauvin knew of the harm he caused to Floyd. The, the defendants will be hard pressed to say they didn't have notice of the harm they were causing. When people outside were informing them, say, hey, he can't breathe, he is struggling, and if people are telling you this, but yet you ignore the, the, uh, the information that you receive, that, that also could, could show that they were callous, they didn't care, and they knew what they were doing, but it didn't bother them. On the flip side, he says Chauvin's acquittal is not out of the question. So far from what I've seen, the government has present is going to present a very strong case. And I think the, the defense has, has, is going to be difficult. But nonetheless, if you look around the country, it is very hard to convict a police officer for murder. So with that said, I think it's I, I would not be surprised if, if he's if he's acquitted. Now, on all charges, I'm not sure about that. Hoffmeister says whichever way the jury votes, he hopes the verdict leads to more active and positive involvement of all citizens in their democracy. But I think the more you see the process, the more you follow the process, the more you say, OK, hey, I didn't like the, the jury vote the way it came out, but I but I understand that people can have different opinions on a situation, but nonetheless, the process for everyone was fair through and through. Lauren Mixon, 2 News, working for you.